I love this interview. Time now to introduce you to an inspiring 12 year old who is helping make a wish this month with his amazing basketball skills. It's called Spinning for Wishes. Joelle is joining us with her son, Avi. Welcome you too. Thank you. All right, so tell us how this all started. I know a bar mitzvah was coming up yes. and that's changed, I'm sure, because of yes. the pandemic. Yes, so Avi will be 13 in a few weeks and he is scheduled to have his bar mitzvah on September 5th, but because of the pandemic, it's all going virtual. He will have his bar mitzvah September 5th, but no Family will be here from out of town. Friends can't be there in person. It'll all be by Zoom. But as part of a bar mitzvah, you do a good deed. What's that called? Yep, so it's called a mitzvah project. So some kids do them and some don't, but Avi felt really strongly that he wanted to do one. He had a plan and it went awry with COVID, so he came up with a new idea. So Avi, what did you decide to do? So what I'm going to be doing is on this Sunday at about 11 a.m., I'm going to be doing a live stream where I'll spin a basketball on my finger. And every minute that I can go, I encourage people to donate. And this is in honor of um, a four-year-old who has leukemia named Benson. And we're raising money in his honor and to grant wishes like kids like him. Why did you choose Make-A-Wish? And did you know Benson? Did you know they would pair you with Benson? I didn't know. I chose Make a Wish because I feel like if I were in the position of these kids, I would love to have a wish granted. And I've just, I've liked them for a bunch of years now. And it's been so tough for them over the past couple months not being able to get a lot of their wishes granted. So this is so nice of you to do. How long have you played basketball? You must be amazing. Huh. No, I actually just started like a year and a half ago. Did you really? Yeah. And you're showing off your spinning skills. Can you give us a little sneak peek of what we might see? Yeah. If we tune in? So if you tune in on the live stream, I'll be doing a bunch of tricks and hopefully go for a while. But so I'll just be spinning it like this. Wait a second. You've only been practicing that for a year? Right. Yeah. Okay. And this is just Joe at the beginning of what he can do. I, it is the beginning of what he can do. <laughs> so Sunday at 11 is the live stream. I think you're going to be able to put the link up and people will see all kinds of tricks. We've already raised, I'm so proud of him, he's already raised almost $1,800. His original goal was 1,000. So his new goal is 3,000. I and think so, we can get to it, everybody. Yeah, I think, I we, think can we can help surpass Avi. it. We can beat it, we can help Avi, we can help Benson, we can help Make-A-Wish. By the way, it, you're not seeing him, he's still going. <laughs> there it is, there he's back, he's still going. Don't forget to tune in. All the information uh, this weekend with Avi is going to be on our website, abc4.com slash midday. I love that you're doing that, inspiring all of us to do more during the pandemic. Thanks, you too. Thank you so much well, for you. having us. We'll be right back with your weather.